Hey guys, it's Steve from the Zappable team here and we're going to pick up in this video where we left off after the last one. We looked at the background and the splash settings. So here in this video we're going to have a look at some icons and we're also going to look at some styling options as well. Okay, so as you can see we're on the icon section here and what we're going to do is have a look at some of the icons we've got already preset and we're going to add our own icons to this and I'll show you how to do that in this video so let's get started so the first app icon I'm going to look at is the actual icon for our app so or if you've got yourself a device then you're going to be aware that this is the icon that people are going to select from the phone from the tablet to open up the app okay so this is the main visual app that your clients are going to be able to see okay so I'm going to click on this option here and then this is going to give me the option to either upload and add an image of my own or choose one from the default sets. Now, as this is your main app icon, it's probably going to be the best idea that you use an icon which has been made specifically for your app to keep it unique rather than choose something which is quite generic, okay? So for some of the other ones, some of these pre-built app icons may uh, be what you want to use. But for your main app icon, I would suggest you have your own made. Okay, so I've got one here because I'm running a golfing themed app. This is probably uh, you know a decent icon to start with. So I'm going to select that one and hit save. Now for the notification icon, this is um, by default in the top right hand corner. You can see that there there is a flag. Now I've been doing some changes on this today. So uh, although these icons have reset here. Um, I have added a flag icon which I want to be my notification tab uh, or icon for that setting okay so I'm going to select that one there and hit save for my settings I'm going to use my own settings cog that I've uploaded and then click on save for my home icon I've got this home icon one here now I will show you in the next one how we actually add our own icons so for this back icon here now I can upload an icon it does give me the dimensions of the icon in the top here as a as a rule of what you need to use otherwise it'll ask you to resize your app so uh, re resize that icon so it's 58 pixels by 58 pixels is what is actually displayed on the uh, the app that you're going to run uh, you can create an icon bigger than that and it'll just resize uh, to smaller obviously you don't want to use a huge image because you want to try and keep these icon file sizes quite low so that they render quite quickly on the device uh, and they don't take up too much space in the app either okay so if you do want to add your own icon then in this sort of add icon section you can just click this green button at the top for add new and then what that will do is it will look for uh, the icons for you uh, on your system so let me just go in here so you can see that I've got these icons made here and if I want to use this particular icon then I just select the icon from my desktop and I can click on open and that will add that icon to the list of options for my icons there okay so once I've done that I can hit save and that will then add these icons to my app okay so this will then bring them in and show us them live in the app builder screen okay so you can see we've got our notifications icon we've got our settings icon and in various other places you will see the uh, notification icon oh, sorry the settings icon the home icon uh, and so on so if i clicked on something you can see that i've got the home icon on display here and various other ones like i say will have the option to go back as well okay so I haven't configured all these settings yet but so you will see these in various places once you've gone forward and moved forward with your app creation so that's that section there now if we move on to the styling this is just how your app is actually going to look so when people log into your app how do you want the layout of your app to be now I've already added some features which is in the next video um, and obviously you can see how I've done that in that video but I thought it was best to have these features on display in this video so you can see how the uh, different looks actually how that impacts on the app icons and the features that you have inside your app so by default we've gone for this icon and then the name of the app 
uh, feature to the side of it so you can see we've got the YouTube icon here and then it says video gallery we've got the Amazon icon we've got the Amazon catalog a calendar icon event calendar and we've got opt-in forms there as well and obviously the Facebook one at the top so if we change the way that these look simply by just clicking a button it will alter the style of those icons inside our app okay and it is literally just click and save and it will add those however you want okay so with this one it's got the menu option in the corner so you click that and then your options are displayed the same with this one except it's on uh, the other side where the icons will appear so you can see they pop in from the right hand side and then we've got one which is across the bottom as well so you can see that they're small icons just on the bottom here okay so for this app I'm just going to choose uh, this grid option here and then for color schemes we can expand this option here now this really is entirely up to you about how you want these to display okay now you've got all your options underneath I'll just highlight those for you so these are all the things that you can change the color of and as I said this is entirely up to you about what color you choose uh, sometimes you might want to play around with this so that you get the uh, exact sort of color combination that you want as you might find that some things will overlap and not look right against a certain color uh, there are some default ones in here which you know don't clash um, but you might want to customize these even further to you know to work on exactly what you want for that particular app so to change the color you just click on the option and then you've got this uh, hex color editor here where you can just literally point and click and you can see as I'm pointing and clicking you can see that the title of these icons is changing um, so if we wanted it to be a black text then we just click in the corner you can also add in a hex code or an RGB value so a red green blue value if you want into the section here you simply type that in so I know for instance white is F's so I could just use that and choose that so that means that those have gone to white and again you can say you can put in there as zeros for black and choose that as well okay so just have a play through so if you find a color online that gives you a hex code you can just copy and paste that in and then you can have that exact color on your app okay so I'm gonna change that back back to white because I think that looks better against that background and again like I said there's lots of options here that you can choose from to customize the app to exactly what you need once you've made any changes click on the Save button and that will add those changes to your app and then in the next video, we will move on and have a look at the features option. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.